one of my favorite stories ever. It's by Robert Munch, and it's called The Paperback Princess. Alina Celeste. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess who had everything a princess could want. She had long, shining hair. She had lots of beautiful dresses. Mm, I'm so beautiful. She had a big, cool castle. Oh, yes, and it's so tall. And she had all the lessons she could want, too. She had Spanish lessons. Oh, yeah. She had Japanese lessons. Konnichiwa. She had dance lessons. La, 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 la. She had karate lessons. Hi, yeah. She had math lessons. One math plus one math plus 17 equals 13. <laughs> she even had a very handsome boyfriend. His name was Prince Richard. Oh, hello, Richard. Oh, hello, Princess Elizabeth. It's so good to see you. Oh, thank you. They did all kinds of great stuff together. They danced. They rode horses. They read books. And then Harry said, don't go in there, Hermione. And then what happened? They told jokes. And that's how the chicken crossed the road. And Richard, you're so funny. And of course, they spent some time kissing. <sighs> Elizabeth really had everything. And then. One day, out of nowhere, came a big, horrifying, terrifying, fire-breathing dragon! Ah! Ah! Run! Run, Richard, run! Run, Elizabeth! Run! And the dragon came and started burning down the castle! Run! Ah! Run! Run! Ah! Ah! Run! And then, just when they thought things couldn't get any worse, fire everywhere, stuff falling everywhere, the dragon grabbed Prince Richard! Ah! and flew away with him. Elizabeth! Oh no, my prince! I'll save you! I'll save you! But as Elizabeth started running towards the dragon carrying away her prince, a piece of burning castle fell down on top of her. And she was trapped. It took her a long time to climb out from underneath all the rubble. Nothing was left. The entire place had burned down to the ground. It was just a pile of rubble. But then, <laughs> oh, oh, I make it! That's right. The fire had burned so hot that the very clothes had burned right off Elizabeth's back. Oh no! I have to save my prince, but I can't do it naked. That's just inappropriate. I'll have to find something to wear. And she started looking through the rubble. She looked and she looked and she looked until finally she found the only thing that had survived the fire. A paper bag? Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. Well, it doesn't matter. I have to save my love. So Elizabeth put on the paper bag. Ah, oh, ah, oh, this is awkward. Oh my goodness, I look ridiculous. Oh, but it doesn't matter. The only important thing is saving my she finally got that paper bag on, followed the obvious trail of destruction left behind by the dragon. Oh no, my entire kingdom. It's going to be so much work. First I'll get my Prince Richard, and then we will rebuild the kingdom. So Elizabeth walked and walked, following that fiery path, until finally she came to an enormous cave with an even more enormous door inside of it. Hmm, this must be where the dragon lives. So Elizabeth knocked on the door. Bang! 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 What? Ah! Ooh, a princess. Ah! I love to eat princesses. But I ate a whole castle today. Come back tomorrow and I'll eat you tomorrow. Slam! Uh, well, that didn't work. Hmm. So Elizabeth took a minute. She thought and thought. She used all that school she had. Hmm, let's see. What can I do? So Elizabeth went back to the door, and she banged on it again. Bang, bang, bang! What? Oh, it's you again. I told you, princess. Come back tomorrow, and I'll eat you tomorrow. But before you can slam the door... Wait! Excuse me? Um, wait, I, I said... 
Why should I do that? Well, I just, I'm not a princess. I'm, I'm from the newspaper. What? Yes, um, I'm from the newspaper. And, um, I heard that you are the best dragon in the whole world. You did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard that. What? What? Who told, it's just a trick. Who told you that? Did John tell you that? No, no, everybody's saying it. Really? Yes, well, is it true? Are you the best dragon in the whole world? Well, you know, well, yes. Yes, I am. Really? That's wonderful. I'd like to put it in the newspaper. You would? Am I going to be famous? Uh, sure, yeah, in the newspaper. Uh huh. Okay, well, I am the best dragon in the whole world. Oh, good. So that means that you can um burn down ten forests in one breath. What? Yeah, that's everybody knows that's what the best dragon in the whole world can do. He can burn down ten forests in one breath. But, but that's a lot of forests. Well, yes. It's the best dragon in the whole world, you see. Oh, yes, of course. So, you can do that, right? Um, yes, yes, I can definitely do that. Oh, good. So, show me. Right now? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm waiting. I've got my notebook out. I'm ready to go. Okay, sure, I can do that. So, the dragon took a very deep breath. Maybe you can help me out here. Let's take a deep breath and roar together. Ready? One, two, three. Roar! The dragon burned down ten forests in one breath. And Elizabeth said, Oh my gosh! That was amazing, that was amazing, do it again, do it again, that was amazing, that was amazing, do it again, do it again, that was amazing, that was amazing, do it again, do it again. And the dragon said, <laughs> Okay. Uh-huh, yeah, the whole the, everybody knows the best dragon in the whole world can do it twice, the best dragon in the whole world can do it twice, everybody knows it, go do it again, do it again. <laughs> okay, so the dragon, so he took another deep breath. Ready? One, two, three. Roar! All that came out of the dragon's mouth was a little black cloud of dust because he had burned himself out. Elizabeth, Princess Elizabeth? Well, as you may remember, we're 
were attacked by a dragon. Oh, yes, the memory haunts me to this day. Well, it was yesterday, so that's not surprising. But anyways, uh, we were attacked by a dragon, and he burned down everything in the whole castle. So, no! Yes, everything was gone. But I knew that I had to come save you. And, well, to put it bluntly, my clothes had been burned off, so I was naked. <gasps> naked? That's just inappropriate. I know. So, I found the first thing I could, and it was this paper bag to put on so I could come save you. So, I'm wearing a paper bag. Okay, I suppose that makes sense, but really, Elizabeth, I mean, what would people say? A paper bag? I mean, you don't look like a princess at all. Not only are you wearing a paper bag, you're, you're very dirty. Like, oh, and your hair, oh, what a mess. You know what, here's the thing, I, I have a reputation to uphold. You know, just go ahead and go back home, change into a beautiful dress, and then come back and save me then. I'll just be right here. <laughs> I mean, really, a princess. Richard? Yes. Yes, I'm sorry. You, um, you are very, you look very good. Oh, thank you. Yes, uh, well, you know, I found a comb, uh, well, a rock, really, shaped like a comb. I've been trying to take care of my hair. It does look good. Oh, yes, really, it's sort of ridiculously good-looking hair, considering you've been in a damn castle for a day. Oh, thank you, yes. And, and how's my, how's my, how's my coat? You know, it, it looks good, right? It was brand new. Oh, yes, no, your, your, your coat looks good, too. Really, it's, you're, you're sort of ridiculously handsome. Really? Well, thank you. Yes, but there, there's still a problem. What, 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 what is it? Oh, is there a hole in my pants? No. No, there's not a hole in your pants. Oh, oh good. Well, then what could possibly be the problem? Well, you see, uh, Richard, the problem is you are a bum! <gasps> Excuse me? That's right. You heard me. You know what? I am going to go back and get a pretty dress after I've rebuilt the entire town and my castle, and I'm going to get a comb and brush my hair, and someday I'll build a beautiful bathroom so I can take a bath again. But you know what I'm not going to do? What? Come back and save your sorry behind. Good luck! And up Elizabeth went, and eventually she did rebuild her beautiful castle, and she finally got some nice, beautiful clothes. And one day, she even met a prince who didn't care what she was wearing. The end. Hmm. Thanks for watching this fantastic story. And if you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe by clicking on Alina Celeste's face. It's very clean. I know you, I've walked with you once upon a dream.